Seat TV family. Catch us live on your TV screens. One, one, two, one, two, check, check, check. Let's up a la ruka. Straight out of the free state of my mind. Boy. Shit, get lit to it. That's the word. Boy. Hey. You better know sure that's what you heard. How some uka man, you missing the word? But like a little start kissing the dirt or be inspired by the fire. You better know sure that's what you heard. House of Uka man. I thought my energy was lost in vain. Taking away for better days. Keep this a little hooky set a little rat to arrive in. Spun out with the word, it became my thing. Now can mix my salayas so to less a hua boo or be enlightened. The beats are strike hit. Those who say in a boat like thunder know I'm untouchable. Don't I check the flow, don't censor those. Respect the folks that started it. Peace you keep in summer, get on my beast inside the jungle, kid. I said, Papa, I gave a holly by lip to it. Hey, I said, Bahali, he leaves your laboratory boots. We check. Maneuver through the pages like your soul through ages. The sage paved the way for the brave to embrace it. Give rapid facelift, move out from basic and elevate from basement to upper echelon pavements. Ah. Uh. You better know sure that's what you heard. How's the Ultra Man? You're missing the word. But like a little start kissing the dirt. Don't be inspired by the fire and get lit with the word. One time. That's the word. How's the Ultra Man? You're missing the word. Get lit to it. But like a little start kissing the dirt. Don't be inspired by the fire and get lit. Hey, word is my bond and I need it. Keep it unlocked when I'm good. You look my cutter when they scheme it. No lie. Oh, what is my bond and I need it? I keep it unlocked when I'm leaving. You like batata when they scheme it. No. Keep putting your galile, make it sack and gun. When I want to my little lalele, check your stunt gun. Cause a calamity verbally available. I'm mentally one with this vocal energy. Actually, I'm on the local strategy. Come on, come on, the taller strategy. Push a machine, steady listening instead of. Push on to an fella, draw the for the fan. What's it about to an a duty fella? I'm all I would have planned when I'm sitting there chilling. Bona to an a we here, no fear, no tear. We just do however. Bona to an a hide your feet like you're a pastel. I'll say my fella, we push a net song. You better know sure that's what you heard. How's a Udra man, you're missing the word? Get lit to it. But like I let you start kissing the dirt or be inspired by the fire and get lit with the word one time. And that's how you make us feel like Friday has just arrived. And if you just walked in, welcome to the biggest hit show in the motherland. Channel 263 on your DSTV. It's where it's most hip and happening. Otherwise, if you're not subscribed, you can always hop onto Cape Town TV, the people's channel, if you're in the great metropole. Follow us on Twitter. It is XA underscore live. Facebook XA live as well as go Instagram. 021-448-0448 is that number to dial to be in touch with us. Who who just performed the top of La Ruga? It has, ooh, La Ruga has a nice sound. There's a ring there. What does that mean? Because I'm thinking I, I should wake up tomorrow and become Lama La Ruga. <laughs> what yeah, actually, uh, La means from. Ruka means Ruka, actually. That's like, oh. a sla that's like a nickname from my hometown. Okay, then I can be Lama Larica. You can still use the la, though. <laughs> okay, sure. Um, what I noticed and I heard um, Gui perform in Siako, um, the sound is very fresh, but it gives me that nostalgic um, feel. Um, if you send your name to come up with what you have right now, because a young woman, I got 1990 or 2000, it's something fresh, but there's that nostalgic feel. So I basically grew up listening to genres like boom bap um, and guaito, mm. and like a mix of genres. So when I think about my upbringing and where I come from as a Sutu uh, man, yeah. I just basically try and channel that into the music. So Kespanisa mm. Soto, I mix it with English, and also I mix the sounds that influence me, your um, boom bap, your a bit of guaito there, um, a bit of R&B, but you probably hear all of those influences 
when you listen to the music. Yeah. Because that was just one song, of course, Wabon. And you're going to be performing a little bit later on, and we cannot wait for that as Definitely. well. Speaking of your childhood, um, let's take it back to when you were a young boy growing up in Free State. Um, what was childhood like, and did it have any, or does it um, have any influence when it comes to how you write your music, how you perform on stage, and the man that you are today? Yeah. We grew up playing clay. Yeah. You know, more clay from whatever shape or power or whatever. So the tomba means clay. So basically, that's those are the kind of things that I like. Um, when I write my music or the things that I'm doing, that's because I do a lot of things outside music as well. I channel sound. Okay. Um, now you found out that you are able to write songs, nail lyrics. While we were busy changing the microphones, I'm listening to this question. How naughty were you in class? Because Musa class in Upalai lyrics, and then you heard from a classmate that, oh, dude, you do have this talent. I think you should become a rapper. I wouldn't say naughty. I was the quiet guy at the yeah? back. That's why I was able to write all those rhymes. And sure. I was, I was the quiet guy at the back. So I had a space. And plus, I paid attention in class. I mean, uh, at least I paid attention to important things when the teacher asks you. She, she doesn't feel like you're off, you know? Yeah. So I could get away with stuff. You know? Now, let's talk about the accolades that you have because we're open for me. We youth unplugged a job at theater. There's Afro First in Cape Town. There's Mzansi Many Roots on One Tree. Um, if you look back in what you've achieved already, um, which one would you say, ah, this is my highlight? And let's look into the future. What are the future plans? What do you want to become? Damn, it's a difficult one. I mean, all those moments are highlights because they are stepping stones to the next big thing, I guess. Yeah. So I think uh, performing at the Artscape was like right there for me. You yeah. Know? Uh, we did two rounds at the Artscape with the same uh, uh, program. Um, so that was a highlight. Yeah, and we love people that are different from the others because we don't want to see another KO or another AKA, another Casper. Um, hence, we appreciate bringing new talent and Abandu that are vibing and bringing influence to young people that are watching. What would you say sets you apart from the people that are well known already? I mean, if, if I'm from a small town in the free state, rural, and I'm channeling what I'm channeling from where I come from, I mean, I'm not going to be like, Lama. Yes. You know? No. Because Lama is not from <laughs> <laughs> Lama is not from uh Tunia, for example. You sure. know, so I believe like we are everybody's unique to, to their influences, to unique to where they come from. You know, as as long as we channel that uniqueness, we don't have to feel like I need to be like mm -hmm. so and so, you know. Tell me about um, e relationship Piako that you have with TKO and why, um, what's the magic that you have between you two that makes you guys able to work with each other and come with killer hits? Your TKO, TKO is such a spontaneous producer. Like, he surprises me. That's, that's what keeps our working relationship exciting is that he can wake up, we see you like at night and be like, yo, bruh, mm. can, can, can I Uber you? Like come through, I got something, <laughs> yeah. you know, so, so those are the type of things I feel like I need it from, from a producer so that, you know, it can incite some excitement, you know, so we can produce really crazy stuff, you yeah. know, in a good way. And I believe that you're inciting some excitement to the viewers right now, and a lot of young ones are looking up to you, but is there anybody that you can attribute um, Leandela Oyo right now, especially as a musician? Um, did you look up to anybody and you go, I want to embody what that person has, and maybe elevate it so that I become bigger and better than who I'm looking up to? Uh, I didn't have a particular person, but I f like like the, my music, I mix it right because yeah. my influences are different. So it's like different people give me different vibes and stuff, you know. So if it's something that I vibe to, yeah, you know, then I'm gonna draw from that influence, or at least I'm gonna take something that I like. I mean, nothing is really new under the sun. Yeah. Told. So we kind of influence each other and inspire each other like that. So. There's no particular person. And your uncle had a special playlist that you used to listen to when you were growing up. Definitely, I'm um, Chiskop, Mashampla, ne, those songs, you know what I mean? Uh, you know, they really, really inspired me. Because mm. I would actually see how confident he becomes when he plays music. Sure. You know, what clean, I got to, and all that stuff. And it was so productive in the house when there was music playing. Yeah. So, you know.
That's the in part. 2010, was an EP. Um, it took you four years to complete that P um, because you had 14 tracks, right? Um, tell me about e creative process and how easy or challenging was you creating that masterpiece. I didn't even know that that was going to be the outcome, Marbon. Yeah. So what had happened, I was just studio hopping and you know, learning Cape Town and learning who's who and whatnot. So sometimes I would be in studio and they would be recording and I would record. So I went back to all those studios, maybe not all, but I was like, yo, can you give me um, that song we did? Yeah. So I compiled all of those and I released it. Uh, it was a mixtape that I released. Um, yeah. Yeah. Um, if Singa Shwanga Taylor, because we're under 50 seconds, I want to know about Do What You Love because it's very inspirational and Abandu that are growing up right now, you're encouraging them Okay, to. quickly, Do What You Love is inspired by those who actually kept on doing what they love, who never gave up on their craft. But at the same time, it, it gives homage to those who paved the way for you know, others. Yeah. So it's like a, it's a two-way thing. It's the festive season coming. What can we look forward to? Uh, obviously, we're trying to, you know, obviously uh, uh, dodge the COVID, you know, but at the same time, I feel like people can, can, can still, you know, within safety and, you know, considering safety precautions. Go to those events, stick to the regulations, and, yeah, keep it going, keep it pushing. So I see more vibes this, this festive season, but yeah. it will be a bit more intimate, intimate than than previous one. And if we want to catch you um, or perform, where do we follow you? Uh, you can catch me on Twitter um, at Rukadon. Catch me on Instagram at Rukadon and Let's Opala Ruka on Facebook. Um, I'm sure you guys are going to have that written yeah, somewhere. Of course. So, yeah. Sure. And I love the message that he just brought. Um, we are not out of E Wood when it comes to COVID 19. So keep that social distance. And then Uriza is going to be keeping the social distance between Yena and Louisville when we return after this quick air break. Keep flat. CTV family. Catch us live on your TV screen.